This year, River Point continues our adventure into Cuba to start 25 more churches and bring 20,000 Bibles to the Cuban people. Our journey started in Havana. Cuba has the potential to be one of the fastest growing Christian movements in the world. And River Point would love to be part of that movement. There's eight of us in a 1949 Chevrolet with a Hyundai diesel engine making its way through Havana. We're going to this pastor's house here to see his ministry. His wife has made us a beautiful lunch. We're very excited about that. Hey, this is Pastor Suarez's house behind me. He's the guy that came and started this church four years ago. And here's what they're doing. Uh, the Cubans make things work. Here's what they did. They got permission to build a garage, and they're hiding their church in the garage. You can see the truck that they're working on here is a way for them to justify a garage. But on Sundays, they pull that truck out, and they can have 50, 60 people in their garage having church. They would never get permission to build a church structure. But here's the pastor at his house, and they're making it work. This is the man that's gonna be the center of God's work in Western Cuba, Pastor Suarez. From Havana, we traveled to the opposite side of the island to visit our friend, Pastor Michelle. We went back up into the mountain region where he pastors in a town called Mandinga, which means house of the devil. Now, last time we were here, this was nothing but um, a skeleton. It was nothing. And they've worked so hard with the support that River Point gave them. And look, they put a roof on and they put uh, siding on. They call this their temporary temple or their temporary church. But you can see they're going to use it for a long time. And this was made possible by the support River Point made. And so now they're having church in there. Let's go take a look. They built the structure with the support that we gave them in, and they've just done an amazing job. They've worked so hard. Everybody in the church came in. Come on in, look. And they built the pews. They have a, a place to lead worship, a place to speak, a teaching place, a place to gather. I bet there you can put uh, more than 100 people in here. We were able to leave donated goods from the people of River Point to the people of Mandinka. They receive shoes, toothpaste, toothbrushes, and other things they just can't get in Cuba, and Bibles that they desperately needed. Uh, how many Bibles do you think you could use just in this church for all of next year? With 20 <laughs> Bibles in New Inter in Reina Valera, 20 Bibles, uh, and for the, the Consejo de Ancianos. For the uh, uh, Elders Board. I need 15 uh, Bibles of uh, study. Study Bibles. Study Bibles. All right, well, we're going to bring a lot of Bibles in. Hookahs can get you some Bibles next year. Okay, we just uh, left uh, the Iglesia Mendinga. We decided to walk it again. It's a beautiful evening. This is what these people do every day. It's amazing. We left so inspired. We left some support so they can pay off their debt, so that we, they can continue their construction, so that they could pay some workers that have been volunteering, and so that they could buy some frijoles some beans so they can plant and create a crop. Uh, the people up here make it work. They do whatever it takes in tremendous amounts of faith. I'm so inspired. And I just think God's got this adventure that crosses all the cultural boundaries and all the barriers. And the only thing that pleases God is faith. And Pastor Michelle has a great amount of faith. We saw that today. I'm leaving completely different and changed and excited and just blew my mind. Man, it's amazing.